All right, this is the jig I'm using. This is the split tail. I've trimmed it down a little bit because yesterday they were short striking it. But when it comes out of the mold, that tail is a solid tail like that, and then you can fish it this way, or you can split it and it'll fan out in the water. I got it, when I designed it, I got it to where you can cut this tail about a half inch long and it'll still have as much play as when it comes out of the mold at the full length. The jig heads I use aren't a typical jig head. Uh, they're a little bit pricier than your average jig head, but you'll never be able to pull the bait off. Reason being, it has a corkscrew on it. And then you can screw that bait on and you're ready to go. I use a heavy hook. I use a salmon steelhead hook so they don't bend or straighten out. Um, if you're fishing deeper than your rod length and you get hung up, you're probably going to lose it anyway. But I think it helps out a lot with catching the fish because the hook doesn't flex as much. And that's pretty much it. Real simple. I always use contrasting colors with the jig head and the baits. I don't know. I try not to always have two of the same color. That's it. Just another crappie bait company. That's it. So we're coming up on a tree now and see if there's a fish that wants to be caught. <laughs>